Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Viact, and you're watching a new episode of our Topic of the Week series. And this time I'm going to talk about all the controversy that went down at the Calgary Expo in Canada last Friday on April the 17th. And before I even kick this one off, I just want to point out that I did try to cover this story as good as possible when I wrote my article on the subject, but uh, things has happened since I updated my article four days ago. Like the fact that uh, people from both sides, in this case Gamergate and Anti-Gamergate, has started to showcase evidence of what actually happened at the Calgary Expo on my article, or okay, in the comments section to be exact. So I'm just trying to find out what really happened last week, because as we all know, there's the truth and there's the truth. With that said, let's get the show on the road, shall we? And as I was saying, the gates to hell opened for real last Friday when the Honey Badger Brigade started to sell Gaming Gate and Vivian James posters in their booth at the Calgary Expo. Which would be the one that you can see here in the fantastic picture. And... Uh, well, before I get into that, let's do a proper, uh, you know, introduction of the Honda Badgers first. As most of you probably have no idea who they are or what they're all about. Anyhow, this is what, well, how they describe themselves on their homepage. Stand against censorship, Honda Badger Brigade believes artists and creators should be free to create without censorship and that unacknowledged men and women issues shouldn't be silenced. And that doesn't sound too bad, I think, but, well, apparently the Badgers has been labeled as an anti-feminist group and political radical group by mainstream media. But uh, according to Honey Badgers themselves, they just want equality for everyone. So I'm just gonna let you guys judge for yourself if the Badgers are good or bad guys in this case. But uh, I can't really say that the... <laughs> Honne badges look all that evil, uh, you know, but at least not judging by this picture. Anyhow, onward we go. There was a lot of Twitter exchange between the Calgary Expo, you know, the Expo staff and media related people, such as the spokesperson from Metro Calgary, for example. So I'm just gonna show that picture, and that will be this one. Uh, really, Calgary Expo, you let those double G people have a booth. I'm hoping it's not true. Hey Calgary Expo, did you really give Gamergate a booth? And Calgary Expo answers, We didn't give Gamergate a booth, we're investigating that booth that's using that logo, however. And they continue, Our stuff is in the investigating Steffi, <laughs> whatever that is. Thanks for asking, we support equality and, and a safe environment for our fans. And then someone else goes on, Yay, having a booth operated by those whose sole purpose is to harass women wouldn't be a good thing. Yeah. And uh, this is actually... <laughs> well, I don't know how I should respond to that really, but it's kind of strange when you get like media people talking like that, but who am I to judge? And speaking of uh, Metro Calgary, uh, <laughs> they, they are the ones that said to actually started to attack the Honey Badgers. In fact, they did publish an article called Rumors of Gamergate booth at Calgary Expo have fans up in arms. But that article got deleted shortly after its release. But uh, it set the sea in motion, so to speak, and it didn't take long before other media outlets started to write about the so-called Gamergate booth at the Calgary Expo, which you can see in this picture. And uh, that article is gone, but it's archived, <laughs> just like everything that's ending up on the internet. And uh, there was also a lot of... Uh, Rants from the anti-Gamergate anti people, like uh, they started to complain to Calgary Expo, like uh, according to themselves, uh, they asked the Honda Badges to leave the Expo, so it, according to Calgary Expo there was no like violence involved or anything, and uh, this is actually what Calgary Expo said when a guy called 
Chris Sharabaruk, I think his name is. Uh, so Calgary Expo literally told a gamer girl to go home. When the Expo exits, start brutalizing women. And Calgary Expo says, No, uh, we, uh, we politely asked an exhibitor to leave. The Calgary Expo is a positive and safe and you know, event for everyone. And that was basically all there was to it, but uh, it's pretty messed up, as you might imagine. And this is where things turn from bad to really ugly, because the Honey Badger Brigade paid $10,000 for their booth at the Calgary Expo, so that money just went down the drain, as the badges won't be given any refunds at all. But uh, this was just a calm before the storm, because when the Honey Badges got thrown out from the Calgary Expo, they decided to hold a meeting at the public park instead. Well, that worked out for a while, but uh, then the Calgary Expo decided to call the cops on the Honey Badgers, and Rachel Edwards, which by the way is the current host for Honey Badger Radio, was on site when the cops arrived. So I'm gonna read those tweets. Because it's pretty fucked up. This is the actual tweets here. Uh, by Richard Edwards. No, the cop actually told us that the expo security called. And the last one. That I have. Okay, for those asking for proof that an officer showed up. Here you go. And you can clearly see on the picture that there's a police uh, car here. Or an officer car, whatever. And... I mean, it's so messed up in so many ways, but uh, I'm just gonna go on here. And that's the part that actually made me wonder what the hell was actually going down at the Calgary Expo. And while all of this took place, social media was pumping out pictures such as this. And it's uh, <laughs> pretty colorful pictures, as you can see. I mean, they speak for themselves, really. I mean, you got the Calgary... <laughs> girl and the logo and everything and then you got the one with uh, Banned and it's actually like a twisted version of the Batman uh, front cover I have forgotten the name of the comic but those who are familiar with it knows more than well that it's like a twisted version of that cover of Batman I think it's called the killing joke I'm not 100% sure Anyhow, just like I wrote in my article about the Calgary Expo incident, ain't it a little strange that it was just the honey badges that got thrown out from the Expo? I mean, shouldn't the feminist booth have been thrown out as well? Because that would have been the most logical and fair thing to do in my opinion. Or like someone mentioned to me on Twitter, why does Calgary Expo even allow political groups to have a booth, you know, at the Expo in the first place? And I have to say that's a pretty good question right there and I think it's rather strange that I mean doesn't the Calgary Expo even check you know the people that buy booths at their you know Expo because I mean that has to be the case or else the honey badges wasn't you know won't even be allowed to be there in the first place anyhow then to pour some more salt into the wound of the honey badgers, uh, they were also called out for harassing behavior, which is said to have taken place at the Women in Comics panel discussion, and that's actually the audio clip which they have posted themselves on YouTube. Anyhow, but I'm just gonna let you guys listen to the audio recording for yourself, then you can decide if it was harassment or not. So I'm just gonna add uh, the link to the video description box. What I do know is this, however, some heavy social justice warrior and feminist names were complaining like crazy to Calgary Expo on Twitter. So that most definitely got the ball rolling for sure. And from what I've been told, Calgary Expo have now made it so that anything and everything can now be called bad behavior. In short, they can kick you out for the most vogue and strange reasons there is. Just like that, in the blink of an eye. And this made me think about one thing last night. Uh, let's say that you're going to get yourself a booth at the Calgary Expo, and you're not anti-gaming gate, pro-gaming gate, anti-feminist or whatever. You're just there to sell a game, for example. And for some reason whatnot, someone wants you to kick it out of the Expo. 
you might be hated by someone for example or let's say that a competing company wants you well out of the Calgary Expo so they make up some false accusations about you harassing someone at the Expo thus you might actually end up getting banned from the Calgary Expo well you get my point this can actually be used as a weapon of power in the wrong hands however the anti gaming gate people claim that the whole deal with the honey badgers and the Calgary Expo was nothing more than a false flag operation. In short, they provoked and staged everything to get free, you know, free press and media coverage. But I can't prove anything of this at this time. But I wouldn't exactly call it free press when the badgers lost 10,000 bucks in the process of losing their booth. But then I saw some, you know, word exchanging between a pro gaming gator and an anti gaming gator that uh, talked about the difference between American free speech and Canadian free speech. Because apparently free speech doesn't work the same way that it does in the States. But what do I know? So if you're American or a Canadian then please feel free to tell me us what your freedom of speech means in your country. So I sure hope that you guys enjoy this because this it took you know quite a while to make this video. It would also be great if all sides could comment on the events that went down at the Calgary Expo. Because that way everyone gets a fair chance to form their own opinion on what actually happened. So with that said, thank you very much for watching our video. And just like always, if you enjoyed the video, then feel free to like it and share it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well. So take care people, this is VX signing out. Bye bye.